So an Aperol Spritz is one of the most popular cocktails during summer. So we decided to make a fall riff on it. We got the Apple Cider Aperol Spritz. So the Cocktail Time crew added a couple of new family members mm -hmm. to their crew. Congratulations, guys. They added another one to ours. We have Miss Amaro Black is our new fur baby. Yes. And she is... Loud. Loud. <laughs> so it'll be in a few weeks we'll have her in some of the videos probably, but we decided we wanted to introduce her. So the other day, we were making lunch and you had just gotten back from the local orchard where you picked up some cider and you decided to put it in the soda stream. Yes. Because you want to see how bubbly it got. Yes. Do that at your own risk. I love sparkling cider. If you want to play scientist with your soda stream, don't don't come after us. Yeah, I want to put more than like six to eight ounces in there because it does get very bubbly because of all the sugar and stuff like that. So again, it's just for fun. Was it you or I who decided let's make it with the Aperol Spritz? I think it was I, I think it was me. Yeah. And so we did a quick variation of it and it was really good. Basically what you saw here, but then we weren't totally happy with it. So we decided to use uh, Bitterman's uh, Ginger Bitters, which was fine. I don't know if it was just a little too bitter, but it just didn't seem to go perfectly with it. Right, it didn't blend as well as I would have liked it to. Yep, and so we played around with it more and this is the first time we made it with the Ginger Catan uh, liqueur, mm -hmm. ginger spirit. And I think you made that suggestion. Yeah. And I think I agree with it for being a little sweet. It should work, it has a little bit more punch to it, bite yeah. to it. Yeah. But I th ultimately I thought the apple cider would go well with the Aperol Spritz because right. of the nutty flavor you get. That's right with the cocktail itself. Mm -hmm. So adding apple seemed like a pretty logical step. Yeah, and especially being fall, you know, cause it was, it's actually the first day of fall when we uh, when we were doing this. Yeah. And I was like, this thing should be great, you know? And, and the first two variations that we tried were wonderful. So I'm excited to try this one. Uh, the only difference between these two is one has three ounces of apple cider. One has two ounces. So we're getting, we're still not, know the right balance, but it's gotta be one of these two. And Riley's really bad at remembering recipes. Oh, well, we make these, so. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's so good. Yours is better. I think so too. Yep, two ounces of cider as opposed to three is definitely better. Yeah. Because the Aperol does still come through. Come through. The the ginger liqueur just kind mm -hmm. of subtly brings through some of those warm baking spices. Yep. And I definitely think the ginger Catan liqueur works way better than the bitter. Yes. Um, I think it just blends well with the Aperol very could you well. Do, could you use ginger bitters? Yes, yes. But use it sparingly. I mean, no, honestly, too, you don't even need the ginger in there. No. That was just something that you added. This is like still perfectly fine with just the cider the Prosecco and the Aperol. It right. worked great. Great for fall. Yes. I mean, it would even be great during summer, but again, all the local farmers or apple orchards around here are producing their own apple cider, so we decided to play around with that and have some fun with that. Right, yep. Um, and it does, it's kind of nice for where we're at. Summer isn't quite ready to let go yet. Right. So it was still really hot today, but it gets cool at night, so it's kind of like a perfect transition cocktail. Yep, exactly. If you found this cocktail interesting, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and like button so other people can check out this great riff on an Aperol Spritz. Yep. This Friday, we're going to do a Jungle Bird three different ways. We're going to do uh, Aperol, Capari, and what's the other one that we're going to do? The Capaletti. Capaletti, yep. So we're going to try those out. So check that out this Friday. And thanks for checking out this video on our uh, apple cider Aperol spritz. That's a lot of tongue twister for sure. And uh, everyone say hello to Miss Amaro Black. Aww. Aww. Cheers. Cheers. And don't forget about Oliver. He's still around. Yeah. He's still there. Off on the side. Mm -hmm.